Okay, welcome to uh, Frequency Distributions, Mean, Median, and Mode. Uh, this video will probably be broken up into two parts. Uh, when I try to find the mean, that's what we're going to do right now, um, the first thing I want to do is explain how you would find the mean. Like, what's the process? What's Why do we do what we do? And then I'll give you another example where we just go ahead and just find the mean using the, the method I show you in this video. So the first thing I want to do is how do you find the mean of a set of numbers? So ignore the frequency distribution right here. If I had a set of numbers, um, like x1, x2, x3, all the way out to you know, some nth number. So there's n numbers here. How would I find the mean? Well, what you would do, you would add up every single number. So x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way out to your last number and then you would divide by the total number of numbers you have which for us is n and you would so add all these up divide by n that would be the mean now that works really well if you just have a set of numbers like this when you put it into a frequency distribution it does get a little bit trickier so what I'm going to do first is go over like how do you interpret a frequency distribution like what is it what does it actually look like and then we'll go over how you find the mean so in our example uh, what we have are some test scores and then the frequency the number of students who got that or we can call these quiz scores like out of 10 so we have two students who got a 0 we have 8 students who got a 2 15 students who have a 4 and so on. So these are only telling you, this, this column right here tells you how many of these scores do we have. Now the frequency distribution, what it did was it took all of these scores, all the students scores, and put it in a nice organized table. Now if I were to write this back out as a long list, this is what our list would look like. Well how many zeros do we have? We have two of them. How many twos do we have? How many scores of twos? Well we have eight of those. So you would do this eight times. So there would be eight here. Next is how many fours do we have? We have 15 fours. So it'd be four, four, and you do this 15 times. Let me just put a 15 there. And so on, we'd have 18 sixes. So it'd be six, six, 18 times. We'd have eight, how many, nine times, so we'd have eight, eight, nine times, and then how many tens do we have? Uh, looks like one ten, so we just have ten. Now this is our list of numbers. If I wanted to find the mean, it's actually not that hard to do it from here. If I wanted to find the mean, you would add up all of these numbers. Okay. Well, how many zeros do we have? Well, we have two of them. So instead of doing 0 plus 0, which is actually not that hard to do, but instead I want to do 2 times 0. Because 0 plus 0, this, another way of doing it is uh, 2 times 0. Now that's not that bad here, but how about with the 2's the here? We have 8 of them. So instead of doing 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, 8 times, um, which is again not that bad, but instead of doing it 8 times, what we can do is we can just write 8 times 2. So what, what do you think the next one would be? Well, if we have 15 4s, you would just write 15 times 4. All right, how many 6s do we have? Instead of doing 6 plus 6 plus 6 18 times, you would just do 18 times 6. All right, how many 9 or 8s do we have? We have 9 of them. And how many 10s do we have? Well, we have 1 of them. And then you divide by the total number of numbers you have. Now, don't go up in here and go, oh, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six numbers. Okay, there's six groups. I mean, there's six categories or the six types of numbers we can have. But each one of those shows up a different number of times. So actually, what you want to do is you want to find how many students or how many numbers we have total. So if you were to add up this column, add up the frequency, we would get 53. So once you add up all of these, you divide by 53, and that would be our mean. 
So if you do the numerator, you should get 266 over 53. And that would give you 5.0, and I'm going to round to two decimals. So 5.02 would be our mean. So you don't actually have to do this part. Okay, this, this part wasn't necessary. This was just to help you understand why, when writing out the mean, you had this numerator look like this. Okay. And, so, and once you get good at these, you can see that each one, you know, these are broken up into groups. I got 2 times 0, 8 times 2, 15 times 4. Those come from just multiplying each, in, uh, each row together. So you can see in the first row, 0 times 2 is what we have right here. 2 times 8, right there. 4 times 15. Actually I actually have these backwards, but usually when I do these, I put in parentheses the score, and the number out front would be the frequency. That's just the way that I was, I done it um, when I started off with these. But you can do them, you can flip them around and do 4 times 15. So then you got 8 times 9. There's your 8 times 9 right here. You got your 10 times 1, so on. All right, so let's do another one, and then we'll move on and do the median later. Okay, in this problem, what we want to do is find the mean of this frequency distribution. Now the distribution is, I went out, or this is how I made up the distribution. So let's pretend uh, I'm at a concert, and I was curious to see what was the mean price of a ticket. And so I went around and I asked, you know, how many... How much did you pay for each, or um, how much did you pay for your tickets? And so I went around and I and it looked like 15 people I asked paid $48, 27 people paid $54, 88 people paid 62, one person paid 80, 50 paid 99, and six people paid 120. So if I wanted to find the mean, okay, it's going to be. So on the numerator is when you would add up all of this stuff up here. So you would add up all your 48s. And how many 48s do you have? So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do this. So 48. You know what? Let's just do it the, real, the, the normal way. So how many 48s do we have? we got 15 of them. So it's going to be 15 times 48 plus, okay, how many 54s do we have? Well, we have 27. 54s. Okay. Probably shouldn't be changing the colors here. Uh, and then we have 88 62s. Oops. Uh, let's see. We have 180. We have 5099s. And we have 6. 120s. All right, and then you'd have to add all these up, but then you divide by the number of people you asked. And the number of people you asked is from this frequency here, so we'd have to add up everyone in this column, and you get 187. Okay, so let's add up the numerator and then divide by 187. And I get on the numerator 13,384. Divided by 187. Okay, and I get $71.57. So that's our mean.